Raise the pain like I'm Nagato Got no father like I'm Naruto Keep the blade on me, Ichigo Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo Diamonds whipping up on the stove Lucky man like a fully glow Diamonds wanna go Hello guys, this is Nagato and welcome back to my channel For today, I'm basically gonna be showcasing On how to basically run any payload offline By using a simple DNS um, all credit goes out to Al as of and anybody who worked on this project as well But for today, um, I will leave a link in the description for this github as well And basically what we're gonna do is just use a remote DNS and run nothing locally And then set up this DNS via our PS4 and it's pretty easy on how to do this And then basically what we're gonna be doing is showcasing on how to run any payload offline So you may be asking yourselves why is this useful let's say you took your playstation 4 to your friend's house and maybe he doesn't have any internet or whoever you took it to and basically you wanted to you know showcase you know or play you know certain games or your fake package file games um that's a useful reason let's say basically your internet connection is not so good all the time and you just want to run things offline that it's you know a really good tool as well um to basically have that catch and then basically it will be always in your playstation 4 user guide um, as I like to state in my tutorials, all you would need for this process is Wi-Fi connection for the initial uh, setup for this, and also what you will need is a modded PlayStation 4. So only firmware is 1.76, 4.04, or excuse me, 4.05, and 4.55 and 5.05 can do this process. Anything higher than that, you can't unfortunately. But with that being stated, you don't need any USBs. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and go to the PlayStation floor and then showcase on the steps on what you need to do. So I'll meet you guys back onto the PS4. Alright guys, you should be on your PlayStation 4 right now. And now what you want to do is go ahead and scroll all the way down to settings. And then from here guys, what we're going to go to is network. And then from our network, we're going to go to set up internet connection. And then either if you're using a LAN cable, go ahead and hit that option. Or if you're using Wi-Fi, which I am, go ahead and hit that option. What you want to do now is go ahead and hit custom. Because we're going to need to basically put in, input a custom DNS. And then from there guys what we want to do is just go ahead and wait for your PlayStation 4 to search for all your um or basically all the Wi-Fi in your area. So this is mine right here. I'm go ahead and hit my hide my password. And then go ahead and type in your password if your internet requires that uh thing. And then from here, what you want to do is go ahead and basically just wait for your internet connection to set up your um your internet. And then from there, once that process is done, it's going to go and ask us a few more questions. I think it will ask us if we need to, you know, want to enable and manual IP address. Just hit automatic for DHCP host name. Just click do not specify. But for your DNS settings, what you want to do is hit manual. And then right here, if y'all guys want to pause the video, go ahead and do that or take. DNS or the secondary DNS you want to type in 108-61-128-158 and basically this is going to allow us to use out as a, a place to for exploit host so once you do that go ahead and hit next and then from there MTU settings just hit automatic and for proxy server just hit do not use and then what you want to do is go ahead and update your internet settings Basically, just wait on this screen for right here. So once it obtains your IP address, it should say state that your thing has been successful. And also with the internet connection, it should state that both of them have been successful as shown here. And now what you want to do is go ahead and back out. Go to user guide slash helpful info. Go to user guide again. And now basically it should catch the theme for your um the exploit host itself. And now what you want to do if it's your first time, go ahead and read this message. So if it's your first time, please clear your, clear your catch by going to browser, going to options, going to settings, and then selecting clear web setting data. I already did this step, but make sure you do that as well. But once you do that, go ahead and hit catch all. And what this is doing is basically catching all of the um, payloads that it has built into the exploit host so you can run this offline. 
so it may take like a little few like 30 40 seconds it shouldn't take too long but once that does that um we'll Internet. And then we're gonna go all the way back out to user guide slash helpful info. Go to user guide again. And then as you see, I'm running this offline. I did turn off my internet as I showed y'all here. If I go to 5.05 .05, uh PS4 or just go to PS4, I can run hen and basically it will allow me to run hen offline. So let me go ahead and run that again. It may take one or two tries as always with like uh PS4 payloads, but as shown here, you I got the notification that places for hen has been installed successfully so as shown here if I probably hover over one of the games it should allow me it may take a little while for me but uh, yeah as shown here I can now run Kingdom Hearts 2 using the places for hen payload to let me use on un, like unsigned code but basically that's how you do this process if you guys did like this video please make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you guys have any questions on how to set it up please ask me in the comment section and if you did enjoy this video go ahead and subscribe because i have tons of modding videos for the playstation 3 playstation vita and ps4 with that being said my name is nagato and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching